Hello, I'm Maurice Dimba and today I'm going to show you how to create HD bolt layout in Tecla structures and we'll get started. HD means holding down bolts layout of a very simple structure of a grid you can see here. So by default we have our, our part footing in place and the column base right there. So what we want to place there is just the bolts so, uh, so that it brings out the meaning of holding down bolts in place now i'll come to applications and component here and i want to uh, place the balls on top of this concrete base so what i'm going to do first of all i want to uh, mark out the center balls uh, uh, the center distance between the four balls i'll come to edit and come to points i'll pick at any position i'll snap on that spot and select on that let me just close that first of all I'll select on this right click and come to copy I'll copy it from that spot and stretch all the way and I'll place my cursor right there and feed in the distance of 200 I'll right click and click interrupt I'll select on that press control and select on that right click and come to uh, copy once again and select on it then uh, move all the way to this point and I'll type 200 distance so once again, I'll press control and select all these points. Once I've selected, I'll come to special copy and I'll uh, copy it up by 450. Right there and click OK. So I'll check whether all the points are in place. I've left out one, so I'll pick on this, right click and come to copy and snap on that spot and snap on that spot. So we, I have four of them. Now, this is at the, these are the points that will guide us in creating the balls, then we'll carry the balls and place them on top of our, or, or inside our concrete basis. Now, I'll uh, right click here and come on the bolts. I'll use this one. So I'll snap on that spot and snap at the bottom end here to create a bolt. So to set the height, you can define by the, po by the point or you can double click to access the dialog box where you can feed in the height of our height of the bolt position right there and that's all so once you've done you're done just click modify and apply and click ok so once once again i'll come here and define this that and i'll define that and i'll define that so once I've, i'm done with that i'll come to view i'll come to navigate and i'll turn i'll turn this round like that don't forget to, sa to save your work as always then com i'll come to steel i'll come to beam i'll come to polybeam here and try to uh, create and i'll try to create uh, a bar here that will tie all these balls together so that when we are doing the concreting or or uh, doing casting the balls will not shift or change their measurements they will remain intact despite the vibration that will be they will be subjected uh, they will be subjected to when doing the, the casting now what i'm going to do is a very simple I'm, I'm going to create i'm going to create a tie a tie bar here that will be going all the way to that spot to that spot to that spot let me first of all terminate it there to see which member are we dealing with let me double click on that then come to that spot and i want to use uh, a 12 millimeter round round bar i'll uh, minimize that then come to a circular section or i'll just click on that then pick on that i'll pick a rod then uh, i'll change this to 12 change that to 12 I'll go ahead and click apply and accept that I'll click apply and accept that now I'll uh, once I've done that let me just delete so that I start it afresh let me first of all de uh, remove that I'll come to polybeam here and I want to snap on that spot right here and right here and move all the way to that spot that way and that way going just round these members or these bolts snap on that spot snap on that spot snap on that spot then move all the way to this end and terminate it right there so if you take a look the, uh, there's a member missing right there so what i'm go what i'm going to do 
it's quite simple just double click right there come to uh, pick the option front and click that that's almost moving out I'll, I'll undo that I'll come to middle and click right and that will come out slightly so I'll come view and come to navigate and try to rotate this like that and I want to create another member uh, another bar coming all the way to this end so to do that it's quite simple I'll just come to beam and I'll snap on that spot a come all the way and snap right here and we've created another member here which will be moved manually we just move it from that spot to that spot perfect so this will be welded around uh, the two bolts so I'll, I'll select on this select on that then I right click and come to move special and I'll come to Z axis here and I'll feed 100 and we'll move down so state selection is active right click and come to special copy and, and come to linear I'll come to the uh, to the axis once again and I'll feed 200 right here and I click OK there we are and we have our our anchor bolts in place so we can go ahead and close this so we want the centers of this of this bolt so I'll come to edit and I'll come to points here and I'll snap on top of this and snap on top of that and click apply because we want this center this center is very critical so this is what we are going to use in placing our bolts on top of the concrete so I'll click on it right click and come to move special or copy or a move special will be much better so I'll click linear and I'll move it slightly by a hundred down so there it will be there I'll move it right up by I'll move it slightly up by 50 move it by 50 50 is okay up by 50 so we have this in place have that in place so we'll we will merge it with the center of this so I'll come here and select everything and press control and deselect this member I'll right click and come to special copy here and pick copy and I'll snap on that spot and move all the way to snap here so this will be our holding down bolts holding down bolts so what I'm going to do once again I'll click undo and slightly modify the length of this column uh, the, the, the dimensions of this column is slightly bigger so this one will be 500 by 500 500 by 500 which will be okay so that's how it will look and we'll try once again to select on this select on this we'll try select on that select on that we want to slightly move it down by by 50 press control select on that will move it down by 50 by 50 once again and also that's okay and also we'll move this one also down by slightly 50 move it down by 50 by 50 that's okay I'll click accept so we'll move this down also by 50 by 50 right there so I'll select everything here and I'll deselect I'll, I'll exclude the grid right click and come to copy I'll snap on that spot and move all the way to this end and snap right there so we have our HD bolts here you can see our HD bolts on top here so we can go ahead and also change the part footing here the measurements you can change this to uh, to uh, a meter by a meter meter by a meter or, or 2.4 or 1.2 or 1.2 that's okay perfect or you can just give it 1.2 that's okay give it 1.2 apply that so I'll get rid of that and we can now change how this looks 
we can see you can see that and i can turn that around and you can have a look so this is the hd bolt so i'll select everything here and deselect anything that we don't want and prior to doing that you have to get rid of this but we have to remove it on our way so i'll come here i'll come here and select on that and deselect the grid i'll come all the way and select on that snap on that spot and place it right there so we have our bolts on that spot so i'll select this one press ctrl and select that one and deselect the grid so how many do you want we want quite a number then i'll right click and come to special copy here and uh, check which direction we want to populate this along the y-axis how many do you want you want nine and we'll click nine there and we we'll click okay and we'll give it some time to see whether this is exactly what we wanted to do another thing what we've seen is just because we have these two dimensions in place so there's a clash so don't expand we'll click and do and we'll come here and get rid of this so i'll come here and click copy and that will be revealed here you can see that you click ok and we have this in place so when I click on that then right click and select on that also I'll get rid of this then I'll right click and come to linear and I want to populate this along that direction I'll work with the y-axis and so I'll get rid of that dimension I'll and feed 5 meter here and how many you want to want to so I'll feed two there and that's it so I want to copy this this end I'll select on that press control and deselect that right click and come to copy and I want to just pick on this and move all the way and place it right here and check whether we have the bolts in place so we have the bolts in place so we'll go ahead and save this and uh, when we view it from the top this is the holding down bolt layout so this one can be you can create your drawing a plan of this and a section of one column base to show how your bolts are arranged and the dimensions of your bolt center to center and uh, and give all the details of the bolts so i'll sit back and i can zoom into one so that you can see these are the details that you you'll be required to give uh, to those guys doing the fabric uh, doing the casting on site you'll be able to submit this and this will be read perfectly from the hd layout that we, you've done in tecla structures and then generated the drawings thanks a lot for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and let's meet then bye bye hamor's dimba